Hey guys, Ernie935 here, and I wanted to make a walkthrough guide on my all-time favorite Black Ops 3 custom zombies map, Leviathan. I know this map's been out for over 3 years now, and there's already guides about this map here on YouTube, but there isn't one about the most important detail when learning a zombies map, and that is the map layout. So I will be going over that as well as the other basics like the shield, Poseidon's wrath, pack-a-punch, one-inch punch, and all of the five masks. So without further ado, let's get started. When you first spawn in, you will be in a small room with the Pack-a-Punch machine in it. Besides grabbing the Mauser that will replace your 1911 starting pistol, there's nothing to do here for now, so just go to an ejection tube in one of the corners of the room and it will take you to the main map. Once in, walk through the doors and pick up your ABA suit. This is needed for most of the map as it's an underwater map and it plays a lot like Moon. Starting in the spawn room is the reception area and in the center is a mystery box location. Going behind the desk is where Quick Revive will be and opposite sides of the room is the Olympia and M14 wall by. Going outside in the ocean part is a jump pad and your set of challenges that will give you rewards. I will go through them later on in the video. Above the door is one of the three teddy bears for the easter egg song. The song is called Lost It All by Avenged Sevenfold. Making our way to the right, we open this door for 750 points and this is the locker and boiler room combined. Right here is the PM63 wall by. A door here for 500 points will take us to this small room with a submarine in it. Through this door that costs a thousand points will take us back out to the ocean part of the map. But continuing straight, a door for 1250 points, this will take us into a water tube. An M16 wall by on the right. And through this door on the right is the power switch for the main map. Back to the ocean part we were just in. Walking down the slope is an MP5K wall by to the right. Down the rocky path, stamina up right here is in the corner. And staying on the path, there's the debris here for a thousand points that will take us to the catwalk. A stakeout shotgun wall by to the left, a door over there, and a fan trap here. Continuing up the stairs on the catwalk, there is a door here, and this will lead back into the main power switch room. Here is a jump pad that will take us between the entrance of the main power water tunnel and the submarine small room. Staying on the catwalk going down these set of stairs, to the left is a mystery box location in the corner. A door here that I will open in a bit. Down this path is another switch for the fan trap. And another debris for a thousand points here which again I will open shortly. Picking up from the stakeout wall by area, opening this door here for a thousand points will take us inside a room with a tube in the center. To the right we have double tap here in the corner. Let's call this area the guy room, as most of the easter egg takes place in this part of the map. If you guys want me to do a video on how to do the leviathan easter egg, let me know in the comments. There's also an M16 wall by in here, and over here is a door for 750 points, which will lead us into the greenhouse, and at the end of the room, a custom perk called reserve soda, which gives the player the full max ammo capacity for all your guns. Going right of Reserve Soda is another door here for a thousand points that will take us back underneath the catwalk and the fan trap area. Picking up from the guy room, walking past the tube is a door for a thousand points and it will take us to the submarine launch facility or the Simon Says room. 
On the pillar is an AK-74U wall buy, and to the right is a mystery box location. Making our way to the left is a door for 750 points, and this will take us behind the biodome. Walking down the path past this gate on the left is a mystery box location, and to the right is the debris we saw earlier that will take us back to the fan trap, greenhouse, and catwalk area. Picking up from the Simon Says room past the pillar, up the small steps is another teddy bear easter egg song and some computers for the easter egg. Here is a door for a thousand points that will take us into the aquarium room. An MPL wall by to the left, and to the right is a buildable bench table. Here's a door for 750 points and this will take us in front of the biodome and the laboratory entrance. Opening this door for a thousand points will take us inside the biodome. Behind the Pantheon entrance are Semtexes for 250 points. Walking towards the middle of the dome is a mystery box location. Going towards the entrance where the temple entrance is, downstairs is the Pantheon room. In the corner here is another custom perk called Vigor Rush, which will make all bullet weapons shoot explosive rounds. Walking out of the Pantheon and going right is another door for 750 points, and this will take us behind the Biodome and the Simon Says room we were in earlier. Picking up again from the Simon Says room, if we go to the right, here's a door for a thousand points and this will take us to the generator area of the map. Straight ahead in the corner is Speed Cola. Going up on this upper platform is a mystery box location, and this giant tube here that is also part of the easter egg. Walking down this little rocky path is a door for a thousand points and it will take us in the laboratory. There is a stakeout shotgun wall by right there on the right. And if we make our way towards the right is a door that I will open shortly. But going down the hallway is an iron door that's part of the easter egg. And across from it is the office area, and Mule Cook is in here in the corner. Making our way to the front entrance of the laboratory, and this room is a mystery box location. Next to it is another room for the Harpoon Gun Wonder Weapon Upgrade Station. Here is a door for a thousand points and this will take us back to the front entrance of the biodome and the aquarium. Now that we got most of the right side of the map covered, let's cover the left side. Making our way to the left is a door for 750 points and this will take us in a room that has a buildable bench in the corner and an MPL wall by across from it. Walking halfway through the water tunnel will be a split path. Let's start with the left side. Claymore wall by right there on the left, and a door for 750 points here, and this will take us to the rocket silo area. To the left in the corner is Deadshot. Walking down this slanted part, there is an MP5K wall by to the left, and a fan trap switch here, and the trap is in the ground. In this room is the last teddy bear easter egg song to the right on the floor.
Through this thousand point door is the rocket facility area. To the right is PhD Flopper, across from it is a mystery box location. Walking down the little hallway is an MP40 wall by to the left. Straight ahead is a door for a thousand points and this will take us back into the laboratory. Picking up from the rocket silo area, if we go right and stay on the path, going up the stairs to the left is a mystery box location. To the right is a door for 750 points and this will take us into the cafeteria. Against the wall is a mystery box location and here is Juggernaug. To the left of Jug is a door that will take us to a small side room with an M16 wall by in here. In this door for a thousand points will take us back into the water tube where the two split paths are. Picking up from the cafeteria next to the box location is a door for 750 points which will take us to tunnel 11 and another split path here. Going left is an AK-74U wall by to the left and a door here for 750 points and this will take us to the second power switch room. In here is a mystery box location and a door that will take us outside where a jump pad is that will jump us next to the rocket silo area where Deadshot is. Going back into the room is a debris for 750 points and going downstairs will take us back into the rocket facility room where PhD Flopper is. Picking up from tunnel 11, if we go straight there is a door for a thousand points and this will take us to the entrances of the aquarium, biodome, and the laboratory. And that concludes the map layout of Leviathan. Next part I will showcase is the 7 hacker locations inside the laboratory. I'm starting off from the door where the biodome entrance is. The next part I will be showcasing is Poseidon's Wrath Specialist weapon. First part will be located near Stamina. First spawn will be outside between the two metal crates. If it's not there, go through the doors to the left, it will be lying on a bench. And if it's not there, go through the other doors and to the right, it will be on top of the AC unit. Second part will be located in the guy room. First spawn will be in the room where double tap is on this table. If it's not there, it will be in the other small room on a drawer card thing. And if it's not there, it will be next to the tube on a crate. Final part will be located in the cafeteria. First spawn will be on this table seat. If it's not there, it'll be next to Jug on the table. And if it's not there, it'll be in the kitchen on a white box. With all three parts, go to a buildable bench and craft it. Here's some gameplay of me using it.
Next part I will be showcasing is the shield. First part will be located in the biodome. First spawn will be on this metal thing. If it's not there, go to the middle next to the box location, it will be in the corner. And if it's not there, go inside the pantheon and it will be on the left of the stairs. Second part will be located near Speed Cola. First spawn will be on this upper platform on these barrels. If it's not there, go to the rocky area and it'll be on this box here. And if it's not there, go across and it'll be on top of these barrels. Final part will be located in the greenhouse. First spawn will be in the water tube on this pipe. If it's not there, go down the stairs and it'll be on the right lane on the shelf. And if it's not there, go towards reserved soda on the right, it will be laying on the shelf. With all three parts, go to a buildable table and craft it. Next part, I will showcase how to get pack a bunch. There's a submarine that roams around the map and there are three spots where you can jump into it. First spot will be in front of the biodome area on the upper platform. Second spot is behind the biodome. And the last spot will be on the upper area of the main power switch. Next part I will showcase is the 1 inch punch. After going through a leaper round, a key will spawn. Pick it up and go to the office laboratory. There's a desk that you can open to pick up a skull. Take the skull to the biodome in the Pantheon room and place it in the center and get 20 kills inside of the room. The skull will turn blue and float. Interact with it and a portal will open. Before going into it, I would recommend getting set up as you will face the deep sea diver mini boss. Once you're ready, buy Semtexes and go through the portal. In the room, there are four orbs in the corner. Throw a Semtex grenade at each of the orbs and go to the middle and interact with the glowing ball. A cutscene will start and the mini boss fight will begin. There are three phases to this fight. First phase, you damage him until he drops a max ammo. He will jump in the middle, killing all the zombies to charge up and unleash a lightning attack that will wipe you instantly if you do not stand behind a pillar. Afterwards, three leapers will spawn in and you just have to kill them, and that is phase one. Phase 2 is the exact same process. Phase 3, he will become red and all you have to do is kill him. He will drop a max ammo and a glowing orb will spawn in the center of the room. Go to it and you will receive your 1 inch punch. Just like in Origins, these things are a 1 hit up until round 19 and unfortunately there is no side easter egg to upgrade them. Final part I will be showcasing is the 5 masks. Each has their own unique abilities and they will make you breathe underwater without having the ABA suit on. I will start off with the easiest ones to get early in the game and the ones that take a while to get. First one will be the shark mask and this will make you move faster underwater. There are 6 sharks swimming around the map and you have to shoot them. First one is located in the spawn area. Second one is near stamina. Third one is above the guy room.
Fourth one is near Speed Cola. Fifth one is near the second power switch area. And the sixth one is near Deadshot. Second one will be the Golden ABA Mask and you will receive an additional hit from zombies. You need to have the three excavators excavate the following areas. Tunnel 11, the Biodome, and the Submarine Launch Facility. You can either play through the game and wait for them, or you can jump into the Pack-a-Punch Submarine Room and input their codes on the number pad. For Tunnel 11, the code is 2473, for Submarine Launch Facility is 0439, and for Biodome is 0743. Once the areas are excavated, you need to hack the panels and spawn to stop them. The one next to the Olympia wall by is for the submarine launch facility, the middle one is for the biodome, and next to the M14 wall by is tunnel 11. Next step is to excavate four areas using explosives. One area is in the main power room. Next area is in the submarine room. Next room is in the cafeteria. And the last area is the laboratory. Third mask is the leaper mask. This mask will give you more damage to leapers and receive less damage from them. To get this, you need to melee 30 leapers. Fourth mask is the deep sea diver mask and you will do more damage to all deep sea diver bosses and receive less damage from them. To get this, you need to get the harpoon gun from the box and kill 3 deep sea diver bosses. Fifth and final mask is the god mask. Hence the name, this mask will give you up to 11 hits from zombies, receive less damage from all enemies, and do more damage to all enemies. To get this, you must complete all your 3 challenges. And that concludes the video, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this guide helped you out for your next run on Leviathan. If you guys want me to do an easter egg guide on this map, let me know in the comments below. As always, I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.